military helicopters. I hope everything's okay. <laughs> hope there's no conflicts in the world right now. Okay. A few years ago, I was driving to Michigan for my best friend's wedding. When on the way, I got a call from a fireman who said, do you live in 16A? And I said, no, I live in 26A. And he said, oh, okay, good. I thought your house burned down. And uh, I was shocked but relieved. And then five or 10 minutes later, he calls back and says, did you say 26A? And I said, yes. <laughs> and he said, I'm sorry, I have really bad news. Doesn't look like your place made it. You know, it was just such a roller coaster of emotions. You know, I just started to have that panic moment where, you know, my whole world shatters. And then I remembered, I'm not at home. My family wasn't at home. We might not have made it if we had been there. And I just was overcome with gratitude at the universe for saving me, saving my family, saving, nobody was hurt in that fire. And that gratitude is so much more powerful than fear and anger and panic. No matter how dark a situation is, there is something to find gratitude in. We always can pick up the pieces. We can always rebuild. We can always take solace in knowing that everything changes. It just takes being willing to open our eyes and look around for that sliver of hope and it's always there. Simply always be on the lookout for what is wonderful about the situation. Without gratitude, we can have everything in the world and it can mean nothing to us. Gratitude is a wonderful feeling that enriches every aspect of our life. With it, everything is a blessing. The same sun that shines on me shines on every single one of us. With gratitude, every day is a gift. It doesn't matter what tomorrow brings. When we have gratitude, we feel as though the entire universe exists for us. Every single thing is here for us, designed for us better than we could have ever imagined. When we don't have gratitude, we live in a prison. We live in a spaceship Earth is no longer this welcoming, spectacular, expansive wilderness and sea of cultures, but instead it's our prison and our zoo that we cannot escape. The more we accept embrace and love this moment, the more gratitude becomes second nature. Most people think that a good life leads to a good mindset. And this could not be further from the truth. It's the complete opposite. 
a happy mindset creates a good life. Without gratitude, we have nothing. Even if we wish we were somewhere else, even if it's not where we really want to be, we can find a stillness and a peace beneath the chaos. And we can sense a beauty, even in ugliness. That is when we start to become grateful for everything in our life, the good and the bad, because we recognize that they are intertwined and we cannot have one without the other. We just become grateful because we see how the entire universe fits together. We see how every little moment happened because of every little moment before it. When we embrace every single moment, even the tough ones, even the hardest ones, and we thank the universe for giving it to us, for showing us our rewards or our lessons, we welcome it all and we infuse it with the gratitude of not just a cup of tea, but the molecules, the stars that birth the atoms, the wondrous universe. Everything had to come together just right for a cup of tea to exist. It is a miracle beyond comprehension. We know that savoring. We know when we savor a cup of tea and how good that feels. And we can savor every single moment, no matter what it brings. We are these souls having a miraculous experience with this precious gift of life. And so it's super important that we connect with the blessings in our lives. And the more that we appreciate the little things, the natural reaction is to appreciate those big things. And so we start with those super small mundane things we may never notice. And that just creates a shift because there's little things every single moment, infinite things, this body that breathes and a heart that beats and, you know, these beautiful colors all around. There's just an endless, infinite source of gratitude. Physically, what does gratitude look like? Of course, there's journaling and is so great at reminding us and really reinforcing those things we're grateful for. Other things we can simply do are, as we're falling asleep, just consciously run through a list as long as we can of everything we're grateful for. And then throughout the day, noticing every little detail. There is so much going around us all the time. And there is usually more good than bad. And we tend to focus on the bad and we do not see the good. And we can see the entire universe in everything. When we expand our consciousness and our awareness to that understanding of how everything is related to everything else. And you have to take the good with the bad because every bad thing is the reason for every good thing and vice versa. I'm just grateful that this magical universe exists with all of the illusion of separateness that we get to explore and play in for the entirety of our lives. Nobody should be forced to be positive or ignore their trauma or fears or anything else that is going on inside of them. 
we need to heal that trauma. And we cannot stuff it down, ignore it, or try to pretend like it's not there. This world is full of tragedy and suffering and difficult, challenging moments. But every single one of those moments are why we have even more beautiful moments, wonderful moments. Those moments that make all the bad stuff okay and worth going through. Nobody really said it better than Shakespeare, which is it's better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. And I think that that doesn't have to just apply to a romantic partner, but I think that that really applies to life itself. Just as we are so fortunate to be born into this world with a beautiful blue sky and this beautiful green nature around us that is so much bigger than us is a blessing. And we are fortunate to even die because that means we had life. The harder it is to find things to be grateful for, the more we need to look because we will find it. They're everywhere. This universe is a spectacular living and breathing painting that we exist within. We all have infinite blessings and miracles all around us that we take for granted. But just because they're everywhere and just because we're used to it doesn't make them any less special. And only when we stop comparing this moment to the last moment can we see that beauty and wonder with fresh eyes? You got to love the cold, you got to embrace the cold. harder it is, that's not even my voice, <laughs> the harder it is to find things to be happy about. Okay, let me try that again. <laughs> Here is what I'm grateful for. Clean air, clean water fresh fruits and vegetables, a roof when it rains, and you know, I don't need it, but I like soft beds. I know, it's a little fancy. If I could ask for one thing on top of food, water, shelter, it would, it would be a, you know, I don't want to get too too fancy or too 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 greedy but i do i'm very impressed with the bed technology these days <laughs>